So it looks like I have a little problem with that leaf eater. Um, it's obviously choking <laughs> on the leaves. Um, let me get up there and uh, clear that out. So we got a little rain last night. It wasn't much. And it looks like it was enough to pick up the leaves. And I don't know, somehow it just got crammed over here. Huh. So what I might have to do is up here is maybe cut another inch yeah maybe about another inch off the top there and raise this up a little bit to give it a more gap here um, I thought that would be enough but some of these leaves are pretty big so that's look that's what I'll probably be doing. I'm going to let it rain again and see what happens. Um, but if it keeps happening, then I'm going to have to uh, open this gap up a little bit here. All right, that little bit of rain we got last night, which I do mean little bit, it was enough to put about an inch or two of water in here, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the outlets to the other three tanks right there, it looks like it's right up to the pipe and just starting to go into the pipes. That's awesome. And this is my outlet right here. And it is right up to the outlet. So that was about an inch, inch and a half of rain. Very cool. So I know the system works. Today we're going to be putting in an overflow for my tank here. Um, we're going to be using uniseals. We're going to be using a Schedule 40 4-inch pipe for an overflow. Now, I was going to put two, but for now, I'm just going to put one and see how that works. Uh, I can always add, in, add, add it in later. Um, so let me show you how to do this. All right, so I am ready to mark where my overflow is gonna go. Now, I got two choices here. I could put my uniseal. Now, my 3,000 gallon mark is right here, basically. Now, I could put my uniseal up here, as high as I can get it, up to the top here. And once the water gets to this lava, it'll just start coming out of the uh, overflow. Um, or what I could do is, Put it down here somewhere and then once I put my pipe through there on the inside I can put this elbow up as close to the top as I can so what will happen the water level will keep climbing up above this and then down into the elbow and out and I can get I can take advantage of as much water as this tank will hold basically I can put this way up near the top on the inside which would put this uniseal down here somewhere the only thing i'm kind of worried about is eventually i'm sure in time uh, this uniseal will start to leak uh, the job the rubber will get dried up and uh, now you know how that goes right and then it'll start to leak. even though the water's up to here all the way up to here this will be submerged underwater the inside and it might start leaking so and once you put a hole in this tank, you put a hole in it. <laughs> so should I put it all the way up near the top here and just, you know, have the water come out up to, up to this level and then it'll come out? Or should I put it down here and take advantage of that full 3,000 gallon all the way up to the top? Well... I think I'm going to use the elbow because I'm going to take advantage of that full 3,000 gallon. I mean, if it starts to leak, I can always replace this. Not a, not really a big deal. So I'm going to put it down here. 
Um, yeah, so now I just got to mark it out. Got to put it about where I want it. Get my Sharpie. And then good enough. Hmm. Maybe if I reverse it. take a lot longer but I think reversing it's the best uh, option here because it just bites too hard Okay, you just want to make sure the edges here on the inside and the outside are all the burrs are off and the hole itself, make sure that's smooth and no rough edges on it because that uniseal is gonna be sealing up against this and, you, and it's gonna be a very tight seal and you want it nice and smooth and you want it to seal real good. Now when I put the pipe in here, it'll expand and tighten up and seal up real good. Okay, now I'm ready to put my 4 inch Schedule 40 uh, PVC pipe in here. And man, it's going to be tight. So, I got some um, silicone lubricant here for, for plumbing. So, I'm going to make use of this stuff. And just put a little bit on there and spread it around and if this don't work then I might spray some soapy water on it but uh, we will try this Definitely tight. Well, that ain't going on. <laughs> All right, so I tried and tried and tried to get this on. And um, so what I decided to do is, if you can see that right there, I put a chamfer on there. I went on my um, a bench grinder, put the wheel up against there, and just spun it around the wheel, but I put a nice, I don't know, maybe 25, 20 degree, not even 20 degrees maybe, angle on it like this, and then chamfered it to more. I had it deburred you know like 45 degrees but it wasn't good enough so I put a nice big chamfer on this thing uh, maybe maybe even 10 degrees it, it might be but anyways it, it'll it'll be able to start it and pull that rubber apart and I can pound it in 
I'm hoping that works. We'll see. Yeah, this is a little rough. All right, so what I ended up doing is put even a bigger chamfer on here. And now I have some really soapy dish soap. And uh, we're gonna try that. Starting to look hopeless. <sighs> this is not working. Not working. I just got it in. So I had to put an extra bigger chamfer on there and I used more of that uh, silicone lubricant that you would get in the plumbing department and just started whacking it on the bottom, on the top, on the bottom and it finally went in. I honestly didn't think it was going to go in. That's tight and that's not going to leak. All right. Yeah, that bad boy's tight. Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it up on the inside there before I put my elbow pointing upwards. And uh, then I could put the rest of my plumbing going down and out for the overflow. Okay, so it looks like the elbow is gonna go on like this. So the water level can climb all the way up to here before it goes out. You know what? It might be a little too high. Now, you know what? I got an inch here. That's good. Yeah, that'll be fine. If anything, I can cut a little bit off of this here on my table saw or something. Take, them, take about an inch off and uh, it should be good. But for now, it's, it'll be fine. That way I'll get maximum amount of water. And what I'm going to do is put some silicone, rather than gluing this permanently, I'm going to put some silicone rubber on here and around here. And um, that'll at least seal it up. And in the future when I have to change this, I can change it and pull this off with no problem. All right. Okay, and that's done.
I'm just trying it out right now because I want this to face a certain direction. Now with my Sharpie here, I can put a mark up here and that way when I go to glue it, I can line those marks up and this will be pointing in the direction I want it to be. My mark here and I got a mark here. That should do it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, the piece that's going on there, I want to be able to take it off in the future if I need to. So that one I am also going to just silicone it um, and I'm going to put two set screws here and on this side to, um, to keep it from flying off of course and that way it will hold it on when I need to take it off just take the set screws off and pull my pipe off. Remember this is just a overflow so it's you know even if this leaked a little bit it's not a big deal. Okay, so on the other end here where the water is going to come out, I'm going to put this doohickey, all right? So this has a screen on it here, and when the water comes out, say low amount or moderately amount of water, volume of water, uh, it'll come, off, come out this screen right here. But if it really starts gushing out, this will open up and the water will come out. Um, I'm going to put a link to this in the description below the video. Um, I am not going to... Um, cement this in at all I'm just gonna put some drill some holes here and put a couple of set screws on each side just to hold it in um, it's not necessary this is just to keep the mosquitoes and bugs and critters out um, so I will not be cementing this okay so let's install it so here I'm just going to make sure this is all the way on now we're gonna put a set screw here and here and then the same thing for that and same thing on this side
All right, it looks like I'm done. When the water comes out of here, and depending on how much water's coming out, the flap will open, or it'll come out of the screen and go over here, and water naturally goes down my property here and down my uh, alongside of my driveway. So I have yet to fill this area in. So this the block under there, it's all that's temporary, but I got to put dirt under here and everything. And uh, so yeah, I got a lot of more, a lot more work to do. <laughs> Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.